What are your financial advisor's credentials and experience? What companies do they represent? Uh, carrier, or is the carrier, basically the insurance company, highly rated? Do they have a history of rate stability? These are probably some of the most important because if, you, um, if you're purchasing long-term care today uh, uh, at insurance policy for long-term care, chances are it's not something you're going to actually use for possibly 20 or 25 years from now. And because of that, you want to make sure that the company is financially stable and that they have been in the business of long-term care for a long time. Back in the 80s, several companies jumped in the business and, ex and have since experienced so many claims that they've actually quit selling long-term care and actually sold their book of business. What that's done, though, for those folks that had the policies, they still have them, but they're having to pay more. They are, they are, this is a health insurance policy, so they could potentially increase premiums. Because of that potential, it's critical that you pick a good company and you pick a company that's stable. Um, that's not to say that they too couldn't experience a rate increase, but you're, you're less likely to have problems in the future. Reimbursement, indemnity, or cash. Those are the three types of long-term care policies. Basically, a reimbursement policy is probably the most common and, the most, and mostly what I'm seeing now as far as companies selling. Reim, under a reimbursement policy, um, for instance, if you were to buy a policy that would pay up to $5,000 a month, you would, whether you were receiving home care or in a facility, whether it be assisted living or a uh, nursing home or hospice care facility, you would go into the facility and basically pay the first 90 days either through your own, out of your own funds or through other insurance. That's your, what's called the elimination period or deductible. And then the reimbursement policy, you would basically submit your bills and be reimbursed for your actual expenses after that 90-day period. The nice thing about the policy, too, it has automatic waiver of premium, meaning that once you're on claim and once you've gone that 90 days, you no longer pay premiums on that policy. Um, if, you're, if you're married and you have, a, and you have a, uh, your two policies, the spouse's policies linked together, in some cases, both premiums would be waived if one spouse was on claim. Indemnity and cash policies, those were sold uh, for a while, a number of years back. I'm not seeing those near as much. Um, their, their tax advantages to the reimbursement policy, and I think with the cash and indemnity policies, that's one reason we we're, we're, have not seen that many of those recently. And I don't know that they're still available. Ability to afford, afford during your lifetime, that's something important. Um, in, in figuring out what a client needs when I sit down with the client and, and trying to help make sure that the policy is not only what they want, but it's also affordable, we, all, we also have to look at you know, what's affordable going forward as well. 